All right, hello everyone, Patman Master 47 here, and welcome back to Faz Anim. Now, I know I did a premiere on a show I programmed a while ago, and I showed it on the 200 subscribers special on this, and I figured I should probably teach you guys how to do this so you can make your own shows instead of uh, suggesting me to make some that, um, you know, weren't either actual rock fire shows or or anything like that because you can't trust everyone but but uh yeah i will i am still open to suggestions suggestions on shows but for now i'm going in order of when they were released me making them at least so uh today i'm going to show you guys how to first of all the download file is in the description or the game jolt page for Faz Anim is in the description. I'm going to show you guys how to use it, how to get your own show in the game, and so on and so forth. So, let us begin. So when you first open the game, uh, I think I'm on uh, Alpha 1.47, I think. Uh, 1.48 just released uh, a few, like, a couple weeks ago, but... I've not upgraded yet. I don't know why I am. I am not, and I don't think I will until some like a major update comes out. Cause I don't want to waste more space on my computer than what I what I already have. All right. So dis it's a disclaimer. This program contains flashing lights and strobe effects. Yes. Again, any of you who have a problem with that, don't uh, don't do it. All right. If you have a lower end PC, well, you're gonna First of all, this is the main thing of the game. Now, it may lag, because it doesn't lag a lot when I'm uh, just playing by myself, but uh, my recording software takes up so much, like, CPU, and then this takes up a good bit. And it's not, uh, not fun. But anyway, you have a random animatronic that's in the game. Uh, you go over here to your character. You could assign, like, which character is which. I don't think there's a way to customize uh, right here. You have credits. Uh, shout out to the 64th gamer. He's the person who uh, programs and makes the game. Our quality settings, mine are on the lowest you can get them. That's just because my uh, computer cannot run both at the same time. Can't really run um, good graphics either. And then your quit button, which I'm not going to quit. So you're. Showtime, I don't know what sandbox is. You have Showtime and Editor. Editor is basically, your, if you already have a show, you could fine tweak some of the movements. But for this, you want to go to Showtime. Now, when you download the game, there's no um, pre-downloaded shows that you can uh, you can download off of the off the game drill page as well. So you can't really. Uh, do that. So this is uh, Freddy Fazbear's Reanimator Restaurant. Got Kids Cove over there. I don't know. All right, your prize counter arcade. I'm going to move. Show you guys the two uh, show stages. We got Foxy's Tavern over there. We got the toy room. So yeah, there are two main stages in this game: the toy show room and the classic show room. I'm going to be showing you guys the classic show room. So, with this, now, when you click on this one, this one should say Freddy Fazbear's, when you click on it, both your screens should light up. Now, you want to hit show, and turn your physics bones off. If you don't do that, the mouths are going to, like, you'll, uh, you'll see when I boot up the other stage. Basically, you can, like, open the curtains, and there are your animatronics. You can hit play. I don't have any, I am programmed anything for the toy animatronics yet. You can customize what the animatronics look like. You can customize what the stage looks like. Which uh, it has like its own lore to it, so it'll like you be able to read up on it. You can do toy Chica, you can do like just the cosmetic less and just the mech. And the clear version, which is available, you just take the go. It's kind of, it's, uh, 
these are the same people who made um uh the rock fire remake but till that was shut down yeah unfortunately all right so this is a toy showroom you guys can do either or if you're following along with this tutorial i'm gonna go to the classic showroom now i say the most important thing to do hello zachary the most important thing for a show is, well, I'll get into that. So again, you'll see Freddy Fazbear's Pizza static on both. Click your Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. And I'm just going to show you guys uh, what will happen if you play a show with, um, do Heartaches. I recently finished it with your physics, um, your physics off. I did not program Foxy into this one. Here we go. You see their mouths will uh okay, let me pause that. You see their mouths are um kinda going crazy there, so if I turn it off, uh, we don't have that problem. <laughs> enough heartaches for you all right however if these are just some i've programmed again you don't have an option to download them with the game all right so if you guys want to get a um a uh, audio for your show because the game doesn't have that option you go you want to go into record you want to hit new recording you're doing a new show now you need an audio source it has to be an uncompressed uh wav or wav file now you can put an mp4 file and it'll put a video on the screen but i don't know how to do videos yet so you want to go over to get a wav file you want to oh this is just the thumbnail i picked you want to click pull up uh your show tape that you or song you want to record um in this sense, I'm doing the happy birthday melody from Showbiz Pete's Place. Now, before I click on this, all rights go to uh, their their respected owners. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Just so I don't get sued. And I did say. Alright, so you got the happy birthday medley, and this is all, the whole thing. You don't need a video with it, unless you guys want one. Uh, you take it. And what you want to do is find a, um, a, uh, oh, this is the wrong one. No, this is the right one. No, this isn't the right one. Oh, boy. Go back. Alright. So, now you want to use a, um, a uh, website that'll convert a YouTube link into a MP3 file. MP3, in my opinion, is the easiest to uh, to do. So your MP3 file, um, you want to take your YouTube link. And you could use any show. I'm just using this one as an example. And you paste it into here. The website I use is YouTubeMP3Free.com. I used to use uh, Y. I think it was YT. S1, but they recently shut down. They were a good choice, but I shall convert that. And I'll take a little bit. Hopefully, we don't get any uh, not safe for work ads. I would have just said the abbreviation, but I can't really remember the abbreviation at the moment. <laughs> oh, that's how bad my memory is. So, I'm going to program a little bit of this show just to show you guys like how I do it. How I find the best way to program a show for and I can download. And there's an app, and I'm gonna click off that just in case. I think my sound was off anyway. So now you can see it's downloading onto my computer. Now I wanna go to MP3 to WAV, and I want to take, uh, oops. No, don't delete, don't delete, don't delete. Yes, delete. Yes, delete. Uh, Add more file from my computer. 
I'm gonna reload this page, and then another web, and then to get it from a MP3 to a WAV, I think you have to do this. I use Cloud Convert. These just, in my opinion, the easiest ways. And you can choose like a bunch of different files to convert to other files, but I have MP3 to WAV, so I'm gonna select File. I'm gonna go down over to. I uh, should be downloads, what I recently downloaded. And I'm going to open, or use the one I just downloaded, the Happy Birthday Medley, and convert to WAV and convert. You see how many files they've uh, converted. I don't think that's an accurate number. Oh, it could be. It could be, but I, I just use this a lot. So a good thing you want to do, or I'll just wait for it, and download that. It's converted, it's downloaded, Let's do this. Okay, now, what I would suggest doing, this is just my preference though, so you don't lose your show tapes at all. If you, you want to have a folder called shows, a bunch of your different, you know, um, uh, audio files and like your actual shows that you programmed. And you just want to bring all of your, hold up, let me just put it there. So I think this is the mp3, so you want to drag this file and your happy birthday medley as well into your shoot. So both your WAV and your mp3 file are here. I'm actually checking which one of these are WAVs. Well, your MP3 is good to have on your computer. I'm actually going to take the uh, MP3 thing and move it to uh, Downloads. And which one's WAV? Which one's WAV? Oh, shoot, I needed that. That was the uh, wrong one. Dingo Star. I did program that show. I'm still working on it. Uh, which was the MP3. Okay, the MP3 can go into my downloads. So at least your WAV files you want to bring into your playlist. Alright? So now that you have, Or your folder. Alright, now that you have that done, if you guys choose to do that, I just do it so I don't lose my shows. I, I'm going to minimize that just in case, and we do not need internet anymore. Now, if you guys want to listen to the show before I do advise, just so you know who's going where. All right, so now you're back at the showroom. Now you want to have your open curtains on, because you don't want to worry about your curtains. And you don't have to turn the tech lights on. It's better to keep it dark, in my opinion. So I want the open that and this will put the audio into the game and you do actually get to name it so I'm going to name it the medley alright this way you can keep track of what you have see I like to put who sang it like the Wolfpack 5 rock fire explosion like that alright now you'll have edit segment and add to segment. You want to hit add to segment if you're adding movement. Your curtain should be open. Now, the most important thing, in my opinion, one of the most important that is overlooked in a lot of tutorials, is what singer is going to sing what. As you have. Four, six, seven, four, four, five, six, about eight characters, roughly, uh, in the Rock Fire Explosion. And you only have, uh, four characters, plus the bird, which is kind of five, so, you got five, uh, you got five characters, and you need to split four characters in between all of them. So, um... So you need to decide who's getting what role. In my 
opinion, uh, Bonnie up there can either be Duke or Beach Bear. Doesn't matter which. Uh, Chica is Mitzi. Freddy's Fats. Foxy is Duke. If if Beach Bear and Duke are like singing like back to back or at the same time, uh, then I'll switch Foxy over to Duke. Uh, Foxy is Rolf, and in my opinion, Billy Bob. Uh, now this bird is, is Looney Bird, but if there's a thing I can do to him that, that'll flip him around, it'll be like a skeleton bird. I'll, I'll just show you. Um, so G, okay. You can check. He'll flip him around, and he's a skeleton bird, and that's going to be my Earl. Though I don't think Rolf and Earl are in this one, so we don't we aren't gonna have to worry about that too too much. All right, definitely the first thing you want to do. Definitely the first thing you want to do when programming a show is get your spotlights. There should be in the lights one, and here you could do a bunch of different uh, lights. Here you could do the lower lights for the main stage. I don't think pirates go that. Oh, pirate goes that's that's that. So you could do. And each key on the keyboard, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. So each button I press uh, corresponds. And you can have uh, Bonnie, Freddy, Chica spotlights. You could have uh, overhead lights, or purple, orange, and green spotlights. Purple, orange, green spotlights. You can have upper floodlights be red. yellow floodlights so you can have I'm going to try to hit four keys at once you can have, I think these are green floodlights and blue floodlights like so make the stage look uh, pretty good I think Freddy Bob Freddy, Fre oh my god Freddy Bob Freddy is Billy Bob well that's for you guys to decide this is just my per personal preference I just feel like Freddy's voice would be more of a fat so you guys can do whatever you want though this is just how I do the... So you got Foxy Spotlight. He has more preferences over on another tab. Another choice. You got the Sun Spotlight. Main Mood Lights. Side Mood Lights. I like to keep those on all the time during the show. You got your... Uh, your Red Speaker. Whoops, I hit the wrong one. Your Red Speaker and your Blue Backdrop. Uh, you could have Fiber Optic Stars if you so wish. And you can do all the lower lights, like so. So, one of the most important things to do when you're doing a show tape I don't know why I can't hit all the spotlights at once. You'd think, you'd think you'd want that, but I, I guess not. So, one of the most important things you need to do to begin with is your spotlights, because if you keep your room dark, you know, wherever the light, you know, I'm just going to do a little example here. Say, you're seeing both shows here, and I hit Foxy Spotlight. You're going to immediately look over there. Or if I do Freddy's, you're going to look over there. You know, if I decide to do Chica's, you're going to look where the light is, of course, because that's where I want to draw your attention to. So, the best thing you can do first, before you even do any movements, is your spotlights. So, okay, I'm just going to look on my paper. And you can browse your, and it'll say browse your tape audio. When you hit ready, you gotta get ready here, because you gotta hit your lights pretty fast. So, I'll just rotate that real quick, right there. Alright, I'm going to show you guys how I program shows. So, I do one movement at a time. Happy birthday, happy birthday, baby, oh, one more year of your birthday candle. Make the lovely light, so that not as bright as your eyes. 
the candle Make your wish come true Oh, we love to be with you Cause we love you so Cause we love you It's your birthday. Wait, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Look and see. Oh, yeah. Let's have a dance and a big party. Uh huh. It's your birthday. Let's have fun. Come on now. We'll celebrate till the day is done. Let's move here. You waited here for this very day yeah, to celebrate in a special way. It's your birthday. Let's have fun. You celebrate till the day is done. Oh, it's your Soccer Fire fans, I'm Duke LaRue, and at this time, I'd like to introduce our birthday host himself, Billy Bob. Thank you, Duke. You know, folks, one of our favorite traditions here at Showbiz Pizza Place is celebrating birthdays. And whenever one of our friends is having a birthday, we love to send out our best wishes with a song. Ain't that right, Looney Bird? That's right, Billy Bob. And I got the refreshments in my barrel. Now, I don't believe corn squeezins goes too good with pizza, Looney Bird. Well, maybe not. We're having a party. Don't you like the party too? Woo-hoo. Aren't you itching to get started? It's time to sing away the blues. We want you all to gather around and celebrate our happy sounds. Just let the music take you right along. So come on, everybody, join me in the Looney Bird. You guys get basics. I'm not going to save that as uh, some more can be done there. I completely forgot how it went. I forgot who sang what part, but uh, all right. And you do that with uh, any, sh- and if I played that back, if I saved it, which I didn't because it didn't really make sense how I did it. Um, you could do that for any show. You could add a segment. And if I played that back, it'll do it for me, so I don't have to keep clicking the buttons. Now I would like to, uh, I'm going to actually work on another show I've, I have. Uh, I think I just finished up Chica. Yeah, I did. And I'm going to keep the curtains off for this, and you guys will see why, because, um, <laughs> uh, cur- curtains. Yeah, sometimes it glitches out. Oh shoot, I need to actually know where my... Okay, don't say. Sometimes it'll say for no reason. Okay, so... I'm going to do a head-up movement for one of my characters. I'm working on Foxy right now. And I'll click ready. And R is the movement I'm doing. So move over to I'm gonna do I'm doing a Wolfpack Five song at the moment, so those British lines from Lemon Snaps, the Beagles, all eyes, ears, and noses are bingo. Dog on to love, dog on to love, the puppy love send me away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dog on to love, dog on to love, the puppy love send me away. Oh, 
to the bed, but he grabbed me instead. Oh, don't go. For the band in myself, I hope we pass. All right, and I'm not gonna let you guys actually watch that one till it's done. But you guys get the point. Now, the only thing I don't like about this, or at least the way I do it, is I do it in such a way that I have to um, listen to the song 20,000 times. So that's fun. I gotta listen to the same song 20 times. Yeah, it's uh. It's not fun, but, uh, yeah. So, on, on my, in my own time, I'm gonna get a few more shows programmed up. Uh, I'm gonna try to release one every week. I'm gonna have to really work on it, though. Um, uh, I'm gonna be doing a new show every week until I, um, yeah, until Concept Animatronics is over. This is just gonna mean that Concept Animatronics is going, or, yeah, Concept Animatronics Season 1 is gonna be Till that's over and then concept unification is over so we're gonna be so once those are over I'm not gonna be programming any more shows um, I will however or I'm not gonna be programming any doing the one week a show thing I might be doing like one show per month or every few weeks but yeah so yeah, cause I got a, I got a big project coming on. Uh, we're gonna have a few people in it. A big Minecraft project. Uh, hopefully it'll it'll be fun. All right. So yeah. So that's gonna do it for this little tutorial. Um, I should I should however say um, if you guys have or spend, uh, it takes about three hours to do a show. If you guys spend enough time uh, with the show, you can get something really good, like uh, like like this, for example, like heartaches. This is the one I'm proud of. Here we go again. <laughs>
You know what I might have done? Oh, okay. Alright. So that's going to be it for this episode. Um, I don't know what happened with the, uh, the show tape there. I don't know. Something is... Uh, I'm going to have to work out a few kinks in it. But uh, that's going to do it for this uh, tutorial. If you guys did find it easy to follow and uh, helpful, uh, please tell me so in the comments below. I will... Uh, I will respond to every comment. I'll try at least. So yeah. Um, if you if you guys are excited to see um, what shows I am gonna uh, pop out in the future, please uh, leave a uh, please hit.